All right, hey everybody. This is uh, just a real quick random thing. Uh, I was messing with this earlier today after watching uh, Get His Steel Run or do this in a run. Oh, I was hanging out with uh, Steven and Sonic. Um, and I was having pretty, pretty high success rate with this. Um, so, essentially, I'm, I'm gonna make a proper like thing with this probably at some point once I figure more of it out. But for right now, I'm just trying to do this before I eat some cereal because you know food. Um, so it's using this like same starting position that you know is pretty prevalent, pretty common, except we're using um, the right side of the camera. So there's like you know this first window that has a left and right set of you know window panes, and then the one to the right of it, the second set of win the second like window set thing. Uh, you're gonna line up to the like on the left of it, and you're gonna kind of cut it off to like kind of just like that. I don't really have a good setup for it. Um, and then you're gonna jump, holding X the whole time, and uh, up in the D-pad at the same time, and hold all like hold those the entire time. And most of the time, if you do this right, you'll actually clip the water and void out. Uh, this is where it's kind of not perfect yet, but if you do it right, which is pretty easy to do. You should get the Void Drown, and you'll get one of two launches, I've found, depending on, you know, like, the minor little inconsistencies here. Both of them work, though. This is the most common one that I've been getting a lot, is this, like, instant bonk off the thing and just fly. Um, this one is obviously just, like, a normal setup. Once the, once Sly, like, starts to turn, you know, lit here, then you, like, swing the cane, and you land in the, the thing every time. Um... I've had some times where, like, if I've landed too late, like I've done it too late, I will look at this and make it not be motion sickness. Um, I'll land up there where the chandelier is. I'll land like up there where the chandelier is, or like a little bit, um, a little bit further, or whatever. If I don't like press square too late, like too soon. Um, if you press it too soon, you will miss this, and you will land down there. Uh, where is it? Right. I'll land down here and, like, be sad. But if you do it, like, you know, at the right time, you'll land, obviously, here in the actual roulette wheel. And if you do it too late, like I said, you'll land up on the chandelier and you'll be fine. Um, the other launch that you get sends you, like, really fucking high up in the air. And it's not, like, as fast. But you get so much height that, like, without pressing square, I've overshot all of this. Like, all of this. And landed out of bounds over there and like paused when i was out of bounds over there to like try to cut back to see like how far away i missed this from and i've missed it by so much so like both launches seem to work i've also gotten this I, honestly like I, I just i just went and like you know got some cereal and stuff so it's probably been like 20 30 minutes since i last did this and this is like my sixth attempt in a row that's gotten it so i think this is a very consistent setup it's so much better than what we've had at least, um, it's kind of combining, like I said, what Gehess has been doing. So shout, big shouts to Gehess, and then, you know, big shouts to all the people initially that worked on this trick a long ass time ago. Um, it's kind of like the best of, it's not like the best of both worlds, but it's like the most tolerable of both worlds. It's like a, a pretty, you know, pretty darn consistent starting spot. <laughs> thanks to, you know, Gehess's work or whatever. Um, and then... Just kind of cutting out like i figured out where he was like trying to land and how he was trying to do it and then i just kind of took out an extra step that he was dealing with that was like he was having to have like two really precise parts of the setup and i've just kind of made it so where it's only one um and yeah like i said like whenever i've clipped the water which has kind of been the hardest part like this honestly kind of reminds me i don't know how many people that are going to be watching this remember like the very first like quote unquote setups that we had for world four skip um, where you would kind of just jump to the out of bounds void and like you just try to hit it, and it was it wasn't like difficult necessarily, but it also wasn't very easy. Um, this kind of is what this feels like, except it's at least with a D pad instead of you know analog stick and whatnot. So it's kind of cool. Um, hopefully this helps some people out. Maybe other people can look at it and help me refine it or whatever. Um, otherwise, yeah. Um, uh, there you go. <laughs> Peace out.